SmartWorks Viva Quick Grid the Single Point Method. This video applies to all SmartWorks Viva in GNSS mode. Okay, frequently we go to a project where we just need to establish a very fast arbitrary coordinate system to locate some structures or trees or whatever the case may be. The SmartWorks Viva Quick Grid Single Point uh, method provides a very quick way to create that coordinate system. The only input that were required is the coordinates of some point for the origin and also uh, the orientation will be based on WGS 84 North. Uh, additional readings then are based relative to the location and orientation and all of our measurements are you know, properly taken relative within themselves. So let's take a look at how this would work. Uh, we've already created a job called QG Single Point. This is with a WGS84 coordinate system at this point in time because we don't have any further information on the coordinate system. That's what we need to create. So to get into it, now we'll select Go to Work, and then Survey, uh, or Survey Plus, I'm sorry it was, and then Quick Grid, and we'll pick the method of Single Point. There's other methods that we'll review in other videos, but right now we're focusing on the single point method. So we'll select OK. In this case, I'm going to user enter a point. Uh, the northing, easting, and elevation values will be 5,000, 1,000, 100 respectively at some point 1. I could also pick this uh, point from a file if I had something uh, in a file that I wanted to relate that to. There's some additional settings, but we're going to an arbitrary ground system in this point, so we don't need to check those. So at this point in time, we press OK. And then we measure uh, at the location of the point 1 that we just entered. Now, I could change this point ID to 1, but in this case, I want to leave it at GPS 0001 so that we can show that this actually, uh, you know, a check that this actually did work out for us at the end of the presentation. So I'll take some measurements on that point, and once I've completed and stored the measurements, then I give the coordinate system a name. In this case, I'm also going to call it QG Single Point, uh, and that will be attached to the project so that we can carry on and measure the remainder of the points that we need to measure on our project. And we're back to our main screen, and we're ready to survey. So now, if we go to work, and then go into survey and uh, first I'm just looking at my current GPS position now that the coordinate system is attached I'm sitting very near that point one it's not quite plumb but uh, you can see it's basically 5,000, 1,000, 100 which is exactly what we expected uh, so we're you know we're ready to go uh, I can go ahead and carry on to measure some more points and I just left it running with the GPS series so I've got GPS 02, GPS 03, GPS 04. Once I'm done, I'm all happy with that. And then just as a final check, I wanted to uh, take a look at my coordinate value for point 1, which is my manually entered point, and point uh, GPS 0001, which was the point that I matched to that point. Uh, and I can see by doing an inverse that I get uh, zero difference which means that the quick grid single point actually did apply that value to my point of origin for this particular survey. In summary, when we need a quick arbitrary coordinate system, a very quick way to accomplish this is the quick grid single point method in SmartWorks Viva. As always, if you require more information, check our website at lika-geosystems.com for support, send an email to survey.support at likeaus.com or you can make support inquiries and obtain other information from MyWorld. If you haven't registered for MyWorld, we'd recommend that you do so now.